hi everybody, my name is Michael Hoskins. I'm the CTO of Pervasive Software, and today I'm going to talk to you for a couple of minutes about integration as a service, or integration on demand. Uh, at Pervasive, one of our business units uh, does data integration. We've been doing it for 25 years. So we know a lot about data integration. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of customers all over the world who have successfully solved data migration, data conversion, ETL type problems, uh, application integration, point-to-point -point or bus-oriented, a B2B integration, on-ramping data feeds from various trading partners. Uh, pretty much every pattern of integration is solved uh, by our pervasive data integrator out of the box. But the way we have delivered our technology, let's think of it as, as our runtime, the integration pump that solves this problem for you. The way that we have delivered this has been very traditionally on-premises. Uh, and so we, like all the other software companies for the last few decades, uh, build up our tool and stick it on a CD or let people download it and they install it and run it on-premises. As you all know, there's a big revolution going on in software around software as a service, that is, uh, running the software that helps you do your job as a hosted on-demand service uh, up in the sky or the cloud, not installed on-premises. Uh, integration is uh, a challenge for doing software as a service because so many of the endpoints that you want to integrate are still on-premises. Sure, many web service APIs and endpoints are in the sky, but it, you could easily say 99% of endpoints are still trapped behind various firewalls. And so it has always been... Uh, a challenge, I think, to think about how you might do integration as a service, and I mean full-blooded integration as a service, not just connecting a couple of sky-based endpoints, but really bringing the kind of power that we have brought to the marketplace for 20 years, bringing it to cloud-based integration. And so the good news is we've managed to do that. We've been working several years on doing integration as a service, and so uh, from, from, from the point of view of our customers, I think, uh, in a good way, we are bringing the same capacity, the same tooling, the same engines with additional capabilities uh, to the cloud. Uh, we have launched something that I'm going to talk about separately called the Pervasive Data Cloud. Uh, that is our multi-tenant 24 by 7 hosted infrastructure for running pervasive engines from various business units. So I can run my pervasive integration engine in the Pervasive Data Cloud, and that's running 24 by 7 for anybody who's listening right here. We have hundreds of customers already running in production, running data integrations in production on the Pervasive Data Cloud. But to bring the full experience, we had to bring all three credentials, design in the cloud, deploy in the cloud, and manage in the cloud. Uh, and as of just uh, right now, so February 2010, uh, we're rolling that out to customers for the first time. So our design experience, the complete Pervasive Data Integrator, is available hosted, uh, multi-tenant, uh, on the Pervasive Data Cloud anytime you want to use it. And you can design for any, any pattern of integration that you want uh, on our Pervasive Data Integrator running in the cloud. When it comes time to deploy those integrations that you've built, you would deploy them uh, in the cloud, on the Pervasive Data Cloud. We have one nifty, very important ingredient in our runtime, and that's the integration agent. So as I said earlier, one of the nasties, the gotchas in doing integration in the sky is how do you touch all the legacy endpoints? And that's quite easy for us because of the embeddability of our engine, because of the agility, the small technical footprint of our integration engine, we can run very large integration runtime infrastructures in the cloud for handling any amount of data volume or jobs, but we can also run down the internet wires and, and stick completely silent, automatically managed integration engines anywhere in the world by the hundreds, even thousands. And those agents will act on behalf of the deployment integration cloud and talk via a last mile bit of connectivity to the back end systems and, and perform full uh, distributed integration uh, across the entire internet. So we can design in the cloud, deploy in the cloud, and probably the newest technology is the management consoles. Obviously, if you're gonna design and deploy in the cloud, you want a whole new family of browser-based UI, and we have that. Uh, we have sort of admin-level management consoles so that you can understand everything that's running, which jobs are running, which failed, what do the log files say. And we have user-oriented management consoles so the user can see their perspective of what has succeeded or not succeeded uh, from an integration point of view. So we're very, very pleased with this. It's a significant uh, point in time and milestone for our integration division to deliver integration as a service or integration in the cloud.